Hello guys, welcome back to Mornings with Granny. And yes, I am sitting in front of my bookcases. I'm trying to get them a little more organized. So I thought I'd talk to you because it has been another busy week. I hope you guys had a nice weekend. It is pretty here today. It's, uh, I don't know, about, we'll see, what, 68 degrees. And it's sunny. And I was going to work out in the yard, but my aunt called and wanted to come over and she just left. She's uh, the one that lost the son a while back. And she wanted to come over and spend some time, get out of the house a little bit. So anyway, let's go over some mail I got. This is from my friend Tracy. And this is from Amy in Maryland. And then this is from my friend David in Kansas. Thank you, guys. I always appreciate hearing from you. Yeah, it's going to be another busy week. I have appointments. Let's see. Tomorrow, my daughter will be here Wednesday. Appointments Thursday. And I hope to take Mom to town Friday and get her out of the house a little bit. I did get my car back. He kept it for a week. He said he reset the computer and... Um, try that for a while and if that didn't work I would have to have a computer which is $500 but he reset it it was only $35 thank goodness to get it reset and so far it's been running okay but we took mom's in last Thursday and hopefully we'll get it back today she was having trouble with one of her door latches so they stay so busy over there you gotta take your car and let it sit there for several days but anyway, I figured I would answer some questions while I'm doing these books. I had my A through, let's see if I can turn you down a little bit. I had my A through M's here, and then the rest of the alphabet over on the other side. But I'm getting so many that are the A through M's that I would need to move some over. So that's what I'm doing today. And while we're talking about books, let me be a proud mom and show you my son's latest books, or book. This is the second in the series. You can find them on Amazon. I'll leave the link below if you would like to purchase one. I know he would appreciate it, and I sure would. But let's see. People ask me what I like to read. And let's see if I can get you down. We can see a little bit better. As you can see... I have a variety. It's mostly uh, probably two-thirds Christian books. Some are non-fiction Christian, and the rest are just regular Christian books. I like reading Christian fiction as far as uh, the Indiana Jones type. Um, and I'm saying that as in they find a Bible relic, and then they build a story around it. It's a real relic but the story around is fiction. And that way, when you get through the book, you can go look up the relic. I have Tess Gerritsen. I like watching Rizzoli and Isles, so I'm trying to get the whole set of Tess Gerritsen. I have some, well, one, Billy Crone. This guy is it's very hard to get his books. He's always sold out, or either they're marked out of my price range. But I finally got one, so I'm happy I found that one. And another thing I'm trying to find is a large print amplified Bible. I found them, but they're really pricey, so I'm hoping I'll run across one at a thrift store or maybe even the bookstore. But I did get some more books when we went the other day. I think I've got them in the other room. I don't have them in here. But I like to read. I've always liked to read. When I was a, ski a kid, a skid, I can't even talk today. When I was a kid, I used to spend my allowance on um, those little golden books. I had a wall, a bookcase, and I had that wall full of books because that's where I spent my allowance at. It was either that or I'd go to a movie. Back then, you could go to a movie for a quarter. And back then, you could get three comic books for a nickel. So... But that's what I like to read. Someone else asked me uh, what type of work did I do. And 
Let's see, I can get you back up here. I've always worked around my kids because I was a single mom. I'm trying to think what kind of work I did do. I was, let's see, first I raised money for charities like um, the Children's Hospital and, and uh, Lions Club. Then I opened a business doing that, and I did that until I was in an automobile accident. I did that for six years. And I, after the accident, I taught exercise. I worked um, teaching free weights, Nautilus machines, and weight loss. And I also wrote some articles for the newspaper on weight loss. I tutored algebra. What else did I do? I worked as a park ranger in one of the South Carolina parks. And I also mainly have worked at uh, retail being, um, well, starting off at the bottom, I used to work my way up. I wound up being either assistant manager, manager, or district manager. So I mainly worked that. I started off one time doing housekeeping because I couldn't find a job, and there were plenty of motels in the resort area I was in. And so I just went down the street, went in each office until somebody hired me. And I went from being on the bottom to the inspector, housekeeping inspector. And that was interesting. But that's mainly what I have done. I did work at a mobile home park one time. In exchange for us having free rent, I ran the mobile home park. And to make extra money, I got them to teach me how to do maintenance. Because we had a maintenance man, but he was in the Air Force, and he was gone, you know, on and off. And it seemed like something would break every time he would be gone. And we had 45 mobile homes. So I got him to teach me the basic maintenance, and so I did that. But just a variety of stuff. Like I said, working around the kids, I hardly ever had a full-time job until after they went off to college. And yes, all three of them went to college. So they paid their way. They knew Mama couldn't do it, so they paid their way. But anyway, that's the answer to that question. Let's see, what else did I get asked? Oh, was I going to take the vaccine? No. I'll put the reasons in the description box below. If you want to watch it, you can. Um, I haven't taken a vaccine since I was old enough to choose for myself. And I think the last one I had was a booster shot when I was, I don't know, 10 or so. I don't believe in taking them, but that's me. You do what you feel is right. I don't want to take it, though. So, like I said, the reasons will be, some of the reasons are listed below. And you can look at them if you want to. Let's try to think, what else? I can't remember. I think those were the main things that someone asked. Can't think of anything else. But anyway, I enjoyed my aunt's visit. Let's get back to her. Um, she, you know, lost her son. It's been about a month now, and then she told me today that she found out her great-grandbaby is three years old, and they found out last week or week before last that she has leukemia. So she started her chemo, and I think they're going to try to get her in St. Jude's. So if you would, pray for the family. I'd appreciate it. But anyway... All right, I just want to touch base. Like I said, I've been busy. I want to let you know that everything's going okay. I hope you are okay, and I hope you have a great day. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe and push the thumbs up. Bye-bye.